Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to learn how to create this falling dollar bill animation in After Effects step by step. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and drop a comment down below. All right, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. First, open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. Set the dimensions to 1080 by 1920 pixels and choose 24 FPS for a smooth, cinematic motion. Set the duration based on how long you want the animation to be. You can name your composition something like Dollar Fall, then click OK to create it. Next, import your PNG image of a dollar bill into your project panel. Drag it onto your composition timeline. Right click on the layer and choose Precompose and hit OK. Now, double click the precomp to open it. Then, Open Composition Settings and adjust the composition dimensions to around 2,500 pixels, and make sure the Lock Aspect Ratio option is checked. Inside the Precom, select the PNG layer and press R on your keyboard to bring up the rotation property. Move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Now move the playhead to 10 seconds and change the rotation value to 1. This gives our dollar a slow, natural spin. Now go back to the main composition. Select the dollar precomp layer and head over to the Effects and Presets panel. Search for CC Cylinder. Drag and drop the CC Cylinder effect on the layer. With the layer selected, go to the Effect Controls panel and open the rotation properties under the CC Cylinder effect. Move the playhead to the start of the timeline and click the stopwatch icons next to X, Y, and Z rotations. Then, adjust the values to bring a perfect rotation. Now, move the playhead to the 10th second of the timeline and change the values to something like this. Play around until it looks natural and satisfying. To simulate that paper fluttering effect, we'll add some subtle wave motion. Go back to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Wave Warp. Drag and drop the effect on the same layer. In the Effect Controls panel, Set the wave height to 5 and wave width to 150 and keep the wave speed and direction the same. This gives the dollar a nice, gentle bend as it falls, like a real piece of paper. Now, let's make the dollar bill fall down the screen. With the layer selected, press P to open the position property. Move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and shift the dollar upward until it's just outside the top of the frame. Click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move the playhead to the 10 second mark and drag the dollar bill down until it exits at the bottom of the frame. This creates the basic falling movement. Next, add a keyframe in the middle around five seconds. Next, select all position keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Select that keyframe and double click it for sleek motion and a small stop in the middle for smoother animation. If you want to make the path less straight, click the motion path and use the bezier handles to create a slight left-right curve, like wind affecting the fall. Finally, for that realistic look, let's add a subtle shadow. Go to the Effects and Presets panel again and search for Drop Shadow. Apply it to the dollar precomp layer. Adjust the drop shadow settings like opacity to 30%, distance around 100, and the softness to 200. This helps separate the dollar from the background and gives it some depth. Finally add background and hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Tweak the spin, wave, and position path until you're happy with the motion. Once you're done, you can export the animation. And that's it. You've created a natural looking falling dollar animation in After Effects. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as a bonus for watching until the end, you can find the link to the free project file in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.